I'm Ros Atkins. Welcome to BBC World News. Rupert Murdoch has flown into London as pressure grows on his expansion plans in the UK. We're going to be live at the home of News International. A ferry has sunk on Russia's river Volga. We'll have the latest. We're also trying to get pictures from the scene. And it's polo punchlines and paparazzi as William and Kate hit the city of angels. We're also going to have some of your reaction to the terribly sad news that Facundo Cabral, one of Latin America's best known musicians, has been shot dead in Guatemala. His name has been trending on Twitter for hours now, a modern tribute to a man whose music goes back years. So Rupert Murdoch's come to London to deal with the phone hacking crisis. And what else would he choose to read on his way uh, to the airport? You can see him, him, uh, than the News of the World, the last edition of it, of course. There we can see him casting an eye over all 168 pages of today's paper. That's one for every year that it's been in print. And you'd give a penny for his thoughts, though uh, not more than a penny, I should say. Remember that this was the problem. Hello, I'm Ros Atkins. Welcome to BBC World News. Well, in the past few hours, America has suspended millions of dollars of aid to Pakistan's military. We're going to have updates from Islamabad and from Washington, D.C. Rupert Murdoch has flown into London as pressure grows on his expansion plans in the U.K. Space Shuttle Atlantis has docked at the International Space Station. We're going to look at the latest pictures from NASA. And is there anywhere which isn't smitten with William and Kate? Not in North America, it seems. It's been parties and polo as the royal couple visit LA. So the US is su suspending about a third of its annual aid to the Pakistani military. Just to put this in context, since 9-11, the U.S. has given Pakistan a total of $18 billion.